I'm Bridget Linehan and this is my Art Snacks drawing video. April 2021. Here we open it up and oh I just love that feeling of new art supplies and these colors are magnificent and they match my nails. I'm so excited about that. I can't believe these colors. They are just right up my alley. And the snack and the little surprise package. Oh here's the sticker. this like periwinkle and here we have the mechanical pencil graph gear 300 and the gray water-based brush pen it's wonderful I love these and oh this is hit my heart the Kuritaki Coco Iro Llama letter pen a cute little tip oh Paper. Now we're going to test out the supplies. Are they as good as they look? So cool. I love new art supplies. I have an addiction to school supplies, art supplies. And here I'm making my swatch. Love it. Love the colors. They're fabulous. Oh my goodness. I highly recommend these colors, especially for spring. They're just like the most perfect spring colors. Pencil's great. It feels so good in my hand, and the lead is so nice and smooth. And here's the letter pen. Oh yes, it does not disappoint, and it's very good for fine detail. Tiny little tip. And here I'm testing the ink. Will it soak through? No. I'm getting really saturated. Still, no, no soaking through. So that's great. Now let's get down to it. Test them out. Now I will say, this is something I don't usually do. Usually when I draw a picture, I obsess over it. I look at other people's art, I look at reference, I open tons of books, and I actually sat down under the camera and drew this from beginning to end and just let my imagination go. And I think this is a good exercise for understanding what you know and what you don't know. I hope those eyes turned out pretty nicely. Usually uh, my eyes look cross-eyed no matter what I do, but I thought they looked nice. Sometimes um, a cheat to get eyes to look right is I'll actually do the pupil and focus on where does the character Where's the character looking and do the pupil and then draw the eye around the, the pupil to get that eye direction. But this time I didn't. And I'm just experimenting with different things. I never have thought to do uh, like a tentacle type tail, but I was just in the moment with this. You know, I'm trying to figure out how does hair work underwater and then how does hair work at all? Sometimes hair is just challenging. tend to sculpt things with pencil and then uh, erase. Now what to do with her arms? Arms and hands are very challenging and I didn't uh, leave myself a lot of really good space for her arms with the hair going and the tail going. But um, I think they turned out okay. She's going to welcome, welcome to my underwater What am I doing with their hands? How do their hands work? How do arms work? That shoulder to erase that line at the top kind of makes shoulders work better. It really works working to keep perspective in mind here. How much of it does the arm show? And back to the hands. Ooh, the cute little thumbs to work. Graceful. So 
much of the time my hands look like claws. So I'm just happy they don't look like claws. decided not to do the bikini top thing. I thought, what? who says that, you know, you have to have that bikini top? Maybe uh, she has a, a one-piece. Or a, a tankini. Here comes the color. And I'm not being real fussy with the color. I'm basically just laying it down to get a feel for the marker, how it you know, the color comes out on the paper. And these Tombos do not disappoint. I really like them. I love the colors. I think it's just beautiful, especially this one. It's like kind of bright. Some of them are almost kind of neon, but not quite that annoying neon. sketchbook page, right? It's for fun. That's what we draw for, for fun. We're not professionals here. We're just uh, interested in cute characters and pretty art. white that did not come with the art snacks box but everything else I used did thank you so much yeah that turned out pretty nice didn't it thank you and look forward to my next video